Hello everybody, how are you and what made you smile today? I'm the consciousness explorer Mohini Sharma and after my previous vlog about meditation I got overwhelmed with questions and in my WhatsApp, my Facebook account the viewers will ask me, Manish, could you please share something more about your insights? Share something about life, love, meditation, anything. What did you witness? What did you experience during your intense meditation session? So the ones who didn't know what I'm doing, uh, I'm was yesterday in a meditation session with a lot of people and when you join forces you just as for me I just go straight to the light I always go to the light during meditation sessions but this time it was again going beyond further and further 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 up in the highest place I can I've ever been it's all about oneness collective consciousness it's all coming together it's true the source of the existence of all I felt like only love and light vibrating to my whole system, my body, physical body, my I have more bodies, not just the physical one, but there were much more and I felt all vibrations. I felt the energy, I feel the vibrations, the frequencies. Yeah, and I felt like I can manifest by using these energies, these frequencies, I vibration, I can manifest anything I would like to what I desire. So this, in a nutshell, was what I experienced. And when you go to that place, to that state of awareness, everything becomes more insignificant. And coming back to the questions of the viewers, I can summarize it to two subjects. One is how to control life. And the other one is share some insight about the fifth dimension. So coming back to how to control life. Who is asking you to control your life? Who wants to control life? You are life itself. Can you control nature? Have you seen what happened with the planet when human beings are trying to control nature. The perfect world, the perfect creation, and what is humanity doing with this creation? It is disturbing the vibrations, the the harmonious way the world is built. So what happens? Uh, destruction um, in nature weather the climate it's so disruptive now it's a crisis because we intervened as human beings in nature so when we create chaos we experience chaos in this nature laws of nature so how to control life so ask yourself why do you want to control your life for what for what purpose do you want to control your life because of the narrative of someone else like nowadays everyone needs to comply comply with their work ethics comply with the laws of the country or society you know, there was a time when laws were endorsed. You know, people were saying, if we can agree on certain rules, how we will want to live together, 
let's set a set of rules but nowadays it's more like we need to control the people so they just obey and they have no more free will you just follow the rules just follow the instructions and when you follow these instructions you will be rewarded you will be appreciated and there the ego comes in the ego loves structure loves patterns so by following these patterns we get accepted we feel good about ourselves we feel appreciated we feel we belong somewhere or we are at the center of the world anyways we love the attention and the confirmation that we are however from a soul perspective it doesn't matter from a soul perspective it's all about sharing because we're all one we're not in a way um, exclusive we are not more special than someone else everyone is a reflection of our own reality so we are all one so control life you want to control yourself to follow the narrative of someone else so that someone else can appreciate you life is not a thing to control don't be afraid to that you are losing yourself and you're getting out of control life is just about to be just be just be yourself don't control because we're all at any very end we are prisoners in our own mind we are controlled to control that we are complying with the rules of someone else so we lost connection with our emotions and when we are disconnected from our emotions we got to shut down we got to break down and do we need to reset or reboot our complete system and then we realize we are living beings we have a heart we have an emotion so this brings us to the fifth dimension the concept of the fifth dimension so in ancient cultures and ancient wisdom around the globe with many different labels and texts but the, the the essence is the same because the source is is one source we're all race of the same source the same line so what these teachings tell us there are 12 dimensions in existence in creation whatever you want to label it so the first dimension is the seed level or you can say we are molecules so we are starting building up ourselves from the seed level we are the seed now the second dimension is about the body consciousness we are the body we have a head we have eyes we have a mouth we have hands we have body so the body consciousness is like we are aware of the vehicle and what we can do with our hands with our fingers with our eyes what we can see that's the body consciousness that's the second part second dimension the third dimension is we like to put things in sequences we like to have some order so we can follow and understand it it's all about logic we like things to be logical so we can understand them more easily and anything what we consider not as logical is not okay because we cannot comprehend it yet during our learning process we expand our understanding of logic then we move to the fourth dimension we can make we can separate things we can distinguish between day and light good or bad and this the story comes in from all over the globe the war between good and bad so we can 
make this distinguish. So we call in Sanskrit Viveg. Viveg meaning to, to make a division and understand there are ac actually the two sides of the same coin. Now moving to the fifth dimension is the heart. So as you may realize this dimension system correlates with the chakra system or the chakra system. So there are seven chakras, but actually there are more chakras beyond the seven Sahasrara chakra. For a process of becoming a self-realized person, we, need, we are in the process, I won't say need, but we are willing to, to um, evolve from the seed level to the seventh level when we, we can connect with the divinity in us and the divinity with other people. So the fifth dimension is about the heart, feeling with the heart. So the heart is all about connection, compassion, love. So the fifth dimension is nowadays a hype. Everyone is telling, oh, we are coming to the fifth dimension, the world is awakening. No, the world was already awake. However, people are claiming we are moving forward or we need to go forward the fifth dimension. Those are the ones who actually are framed in their own social cultural reference index. If you go to the indigenous people of, let's say, Africa or Australia or the Amazon or any part of the world where people are still connected with nature and the so-called primitive religions or related, uh, primitive belief systems, these people are far more connected with their heart. They don't need a big car fancy house. They are, they are just happy for being there, being alive. And they, if you would ask them, can I have some bread or some fruit? And even they don't have any fruit, they will give it. They won't charge you anything from it. While here in our so-called modern society, if I buy you a cup of coffee, I expect you, you buy someone some coffee next time. Well, at least this part of the world. So the fifth dimension is already there. Only the people who have realized that they were captured in the mind, they were prisoners in the mind, they were actually walking death, they realized that we are human beings. We have a heart, we have compassion, and we love life, and we want to experience life. Oh, I, I have discovered this thing, now everyone needs to go that way. No, everyone has their own process, their own evolution. Some are, some are already in the sixth dimension, the seventh dimension, or even beyond. So the bottom line is, just be aware of yourself. Try to find yourself, be yourself, feel what life is all about. Feel what your life purpose is. Feel, embrace the inner voice, the guidance in yourself, in your heart. It all starts from the heart. I can talk for hours on this subject and I'm seeing that I'm already exceeding my time. Sorry for that. Well, actually, it has to be like this, right? It's supposed to be. Um, well, actually, based on your feedback, I'm sharing this insight. But please, just follow your own narrative. Just feel where are your passions? What do you want to share with the world? What, want you, what is your contribution? What is your value? Don't judge other people. Okay, you're living in an democratic society and other people live more in a theocratic society so you judge them for their system their belief system 
but other ones are judging the same for your lifestyles maybe too too much based on the five sense reality and the other ones are too much based on finding answers in truth or some comfort for the lies in their holy scriptures the holy books if that helps them to become a better human being what stops you preventing them for doing that you're already on the path you have seen controlling society controlling minds controlling people doesn't help anyone it leads to breakdown it leads to crisis in your relationships your finance your wealth your fun and recreation and your share in the in this part of the world so i would like to wrap it up for now thanks for watching and remember no subscribe like and share because sharing is caring and last question what made you smile today thanks for now bye for now see you next time take care cheers